probably one probably the craziest season um that i can remember as a bills fan as far as like how playoffs are shaken out and there's probably been a few more in there um throughout the years but pretty much my whole life as a bills fan we were missing the playoffs uh so it's just it's so strange to me where we're ending up right now and you know, it, it's very, very close to being a, a win and end game against Miami. Um, but we have the potential to beat Miami, win the division and be the two seed um, all the way down to if we lose to Miami and a couple games don't go our way, we could be all the way out of the playoffs. And <laughs> I just don't remember it. it I don't remember like other teams having that much of a swing uh, on the table. Um, granted, for these Bills teams that we've gotten used to um, in the Josh Allen era, it's been more like, you know, are we going to finish as the one seed? Um, division was pretty much wrapped up every year. Like, can we get to the one seed? Um, so very different seat that we're in this year. Um, so we're going into a game against Miami that... I, I mean, I'm pretty much calling a must win. Now we did get the um, we did get the schedule fully released for next week. Um, of course, they're going to <laughs> they're making the Bills Dolphins game the night game on Sunday. So not only do we have to sit there with the anticipation all day, you know, it, it's going to go one of two ways. And either way, I'm not sleeping that Sunday either. You know, they do lose. Maybe we get knocked out of the playoffs. Maybe we squeak in as a wild card. But it, if we're losing that kind of must-win game, I'm not going to feel good anyways. So they could lose and I'm not going to sleep. Or they could win. And now we've wrapped up the division. We're going to be the two seed. And I got to buy division champs here all night. So uh, either way, I'm not sleeping. I think the, uh, for what it's worth, I think the NFL did have kind of I get wanting that game to be your marquee game for the week, um, but also by the time we're playing that game, we're going to know, you know, whether that game for the Bills is a win and end game or is it like we're just playing for division and two seed um, because all the other games are going to be settled by then. Um, granted, either way, go out there, you know, win the game get the two seed, get the division. Um, kind of the approach McDermott had this weekend of like not showing the scores inside the stadium because he didn't want it. He didn't want the team to know what's going on. Um, but yeah, that's what's at stake here. And that that will lead to, you know, if we get to talk about the playoffs. Um, now, it's Miami team, you know, they've been kind of the hot name in the AFC most of the year, and they're kind of starting to lose some of that shine. Um, as the Ravens have kind of come up and played more consistently, the Dolphins have had their struggles against some of the better teams. Um, you know, we, we needed to win yesterday and we needed the Dolphins to lose to the Ravens and <laughs> it made it all that more stressful yesterday that I can look at the box scores and the Dolphins are just getting absolutely schmacked by, uh, the Ravens, you know, what I was hoping our game would look like against the Patriots I was hoping we'd look like the Ravens, but here we are. Um, and we got this, you know, one score game down to the wire against the Patriots. We already beat you this season that are about to possibly end your season. Um, but whatever. Survive in advance. <laughs> um, but yeah, Miami has, you know, they, they squeaked by Dallas. They've had some of their struggles. Um, I, as the game ended yesterday, it flipped over to the Dolphins game. I see um, Bradley Chubb getting carted off. You know, not here celebrating injuries by any means. Um, just kind of pointing out they're, they're getting a little banged up. Um, Jalen Waddle missed that game with a high ankle sprain. Tyreek Hill has been kind of dealing with something. Mostert wasn't able to go that game. Um, just... You know, some injuries he's been dealing with, uh, knee, ankles, they were kind of resting him up. Um, so who knows 
you know, how depleted that Miami team is going to be. Um, they're already, you know, missing some pieces on the offensive line. Things are setting up that this should be should be the game. Game the Bills go in, take care of business, and despite it not looking pretty all the time or you know the way we envisioned it you know josh allen throwing for 350 yards and four touchdowns and we're smacking teams um when you when you look at the end of the season here and the possibility to head into the playoffs like winning whatever i believe it's four or five you know finishing out the season strong being in a position all year that you left yourself no room for error and honestly the fact that they've dug themselves out of this hole to be in this position it, it this is kind of like the perfect embodiment of this season where like the bills could win and have everything in front of them or they could lose and it their it be their fault and be knocked out of the playoffs completely and honestly i i think <laughs> I think either path is justified, earned at this point. I mean, kudos to them. Real happy with where we ended up from the hole that we've dug ourselves. Some of the terrible losses that we took to be completely written off, you know, halfway through the season to we're in the conversation for number two seed winning the division again um five consecutive years um to me that's just like the added fuel to to finish this season off to get that one more done like you didn't put in all this work to to be back in the conversation to just fall flat against the miami team um obviously a team that we put a pretty good beat down on earlier in the season they're not going to forget that um they want to win that division too. We've been, you know, the big brother giving noogies in this uh, division for quite some time. And it's right there in front of them too. And they, they want to kind of prove that what we saw earlier in the season is more who this team is than what we've seen a little bit recently. So we're, we're going to get Miami's best shot and hopefully, hopefully we come ready to play on both sides of the ball. Um, Something that's happened a lot of times in this season is defense is having a bad game, but the offense is stellar. The offense, you know, sucks, but the defense is having a great game. Um, if we can put <laughs> both sides of the ball having a good game together on a day, um, that's a very dangerous team. Um, if we could see that just, you know, for five more games, we're going to have a real happy February. 